Today, we're unraveling the mysteries of alt text on Instagram. Have you hit a wall when it comes to growing your business? Then welcome to Wingnut Social, helping home professionals, industry influencers, and creatives accelerate their business through an improved social media presence by translating digital influence into physical success. Whether your focus is interior design, travel and tourism, or hospitality, this is your social media tightly fastened. Now welcome the hosts of Wingnut Social, Darla Powell and Natalie Graff. Hey there, and welcome to the Wingnut Social Podcast. Today is the Monday Marketing Minnesota. I'm your host, the Grand High Poobah of all things Wingnut, Darla Jethro Powell. And I am joined by the soulless ginger, Natalie Ann Graff, who's tuning in from a remote location. Natalie, what news do you have from the front? <laughs> oh, well, it's all quiet here. There's nothing new and exciting. That's good. That's good. Stay safe. And we're all thinking about you. <laughs> oh, Lord, you are just impossible, Darla. <laughs> so, of course, your schedule today prohibited you from recording live and in the studio. We will not disclose where you are, but let's suffice it to say that you are here today like I promised last week. Yes, I am here. I am here, alive and well. Today, we're talking about alt text, specifically on Instagram. Are you familiar with what that is? I had to do a lot of homework on this one, too. I had to make sure that I knew exactly what I was talking about. I've heard about just it. Just get to but it. no. Yeah, no. Get to it. I, I don't know. Yes or no? no. The answer would be no. The answer would be no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a one word answer. <laughs> so alt text is a little description that you are able to add to your photograph on Instagram that is a description of actually what is in the image. For example, if you're posting a living room, you would say living room with sofa and window treatments in blue or what have you. And really what this does on Instagram is it allows people with visual impairments when they're scrolling through to get a description of what it is that they're actually looking at to help them if they're impaired in their vision or just to describe it to them if they're absolutely can't actually see it, but they do want to scroll through and see what's going on in the Instagram world and in your design firm. Alt text actually is not a new feature. It was actually released at the end of 2018. So it's not totally new, but we are going over this again because it does give you that option of you can customize your alt text as well. You can, but Instagram We'll do it for you, regardless of whether or not you enter in alt text. So, and they're actually pretty good. They're pretty accurate in their descriptions. So if you want to get in there and dial it in and make sure it's absolutely 100% accurate, you can. But here's some things that alt text doesn't do that you might be confusing it with the alt text on your photos on your website. Okay, so before I get into that, when you put alt text, which is alternative text, and you describe photos on your actual website, it is discoverable in SEO. It is discoverable in a Google search or Bing search, if anyone's using that. <laughs> is it? I'm Bing? I guess it is. So if someone's looking for Miami living room, leather sofa, and that's how you have your photograph for that project described in the alt text, they're more than likely to find that photo. So people are confused and thinking, okay, alt text on Instagram, this is going to be discoverable. I'm going to get found on SEO, on Google. They're really going to find my picture. And I'm sorry to say, I'm very sad to announce that no, it does not do that. But in your alt text box, you need to be specific on your description. Don't make it too long. What's a good length? Mm, try not to exceed 100 characters and avoid using the terms image or photo because alt images already alert the user that the object is in the photo. So no need to waste time with letters or characters on that. So alt text. Should you be using alternative text on Instagram? Well, like we said, Instagram is going to populate it for you anyway, because we do want to be considerate of the vision impaired people on Instagram so they can hear through their screen reader what the descriptions are of the photos. We're all in for that. And if you're a business that your clientele is maybe people with disabilities or people who are vision impaired, maybe you specialize in helping families in these kind of situations, then you definitely want to go in there and make sure it's very detailed and accurate to your brand and what you want it to do. But just keep in mind that going in there and spending hours and hours on your alt text is not going to get you discovered in SEO or Google, although it is a very worthwhile thing to do, just so you're clear what your end game is there. 
you can actually edit your alt text after it's already been posted. You actually go to your photo and tap the three little dot, dot, dots or the ellipsis. Then you hit edit, tap edit alt text, and you can make your changes. So if you want to go back through your feed and add some alt text, it's no big deal. All right. So that's it. We're demystifying the alt text on Instagram. Does some things you didn't know it did, and it does a lot of things you thought it might have done. <laughs> right. So that's it for today's show, guys. Please make sure that you follow us on social at Wingnut Social on every single social media channel ever created in God's universe. And if you need help with marketing for your high aesthetic luxury brand, give us a call 1877 Wingnut. And that's it for today, Nat. Got anything else? Nope. See ya. You've reached the end of this episode of Wingnut Social, but that's only the first step into accelerating your business the Wingnut way. Head over to wingnutsocial.com or call us at 1-877-WINGNUT to see how we can help you take your business from social mediocre to social media master. We'll see you on the next episode of Wingnut Social, your social media tightly fastened. Uh, Shut up, Darla. Can I finish my thought now, Darla? Don't put that microphone right in front of your mouth because you're going... (sighs) Good boy, Mango.